Hi, my name is Dr. Tibor Lazar. I'm the owner and surgeon of Lazar Veterinary Surgery. I'm going to talk about scrotal urethrostomy, a treatment of the lower urinary system in dogs. Uh, I want to first thank Webster Veterinary Supply for allowing me to use their illustrations. Uh, this is from the DIA app for the iPad. It's a, a great program. Um, what we're seeing here is the anatomy, the bladder, the exit, which is the urethra, which then goes into the penis. Now what we're seeing in this uh, particular model is a cross section. We are seeing the inside of the urethra, and in this case there's a stone lodging causing an obstruction. The stone can lodge anywhere along the urethra, but it does get more narrow as it reaches towards the penis, and in particular, right at this point where there's a bone in the penis called the os penis, and that is the most common location to see st a stone obstruction. Um, this is a condition that we can see in any dog that has stones in the bladder. The, the stones can sit in the bladder for a period of time and then eventually flow into the urethra. One stone may not cause a problem, but then as time goes on, <clears throat> we'll see multiple stones and then it can cause um, just uh, an obstruction that we're not able to, to break through. Uh, in the best case scenario under anesthesia, we can flush the stones back in the bladder and remove these stones by simply opening the bladder, but that may not be possible in some cases. Now, when we see a urinary obstruction, the bladder will enlarge, and in this case, we see a very red bladder. It will get distended. It can rupture. It can cause kidney failure in a very short period of time. This is a life-threatening problem. The treatment for stones that are hopelessly lodged in the urethra is to bypass these stones. And so what we do is create a new opening, and it's called a scrotal urethrostomy. In the area where the testicles used to be, or if a dog is still attacked, of course still is, we need to remove the testicles and then open up that portion of the urethra, called the scrotal urethra. Uh, urethra. And we will make a longitudinal incision and then open up the sides of the urethra and it will be a new opening for the urine to exit. We will not do anything in the lower part of the urinary system. We will try to remove the stones if possible. If, uh, if anything is left behind, it will not cause a problem though as the urine doesn't need to pass through that area anymore. We will flush any additional stones if needed back into the bladder and they can be removed by cystotomy through the bladder. Um, and it's actually a very quick and straightforward procedure. Most owners understandably cringe at the idea of what we're doing here, but dogs typically are very, very comfortable following surgery. Now, as far as potential complications go, in the short term, bleeding is expected. The surgery will go through muscle that will uh, be in the, in the way... <coughs> Now, as far as potential complications, the most common short-term complication is bleeding. In fact, it's, it's pretty well expected that we will see bleeding for at least a few days, if not for a week or two. Uh, this bleeding is typically seen during the act of urination, but we'll also see it if the pet is excited. So it's very common, or it's very important, I should say, for the two weeks following surgery that we keep excitement to a minimum. We, uh, avoid stressful or exciting situations, um, keep the patient away from other people if possible, and certainly away from carpeting or floors, things that uh, you would not want to get bloody because it's very common. What you will usually see is that as your pet urinates, a normal urine stream will be created and then it'll be followed by drops of blood which can then go on for a few minutes and then it will typically stop. If it seems excessive, then certainly we would encourage you to recheck with your family veterinarian or an emergency clinic if it's after hours. Um, sometimes we'll put cool compresses on the area to get the bleeding to stop, but typically the bleeding will stop within a few minutes, and even though it looks awful in some situations, uh, typically it's not a very large amount of blood. This bleeding uh, should not be an issue in most cases after about the two weeks. As far as a long-term complication, the most concerning is stricture development. <clears throat> stricture refers to narrowing of this new opening to the point that urine will no longer be able to pass through. If this develops, 
then it can require a second surgery to uh, reopen the area. It's not very common. I would certainly say it's less than 1% of cases that would have uh, stricture formation in the dog. Now as far as aftercare, I've already alluded to this two-week period of rest. Uh, it's also important to have the, the Elizabethan collar, the cone around the head so that your pet is not licking at the incision. Sutures come out at about two weeks and at that time we will gradually return back to normal activity. Depending on the stone results, the stones that are removed, uh, most likely your pet will have to go on to a special diet because we haven't done anything to prevent these stones from coming back. What we've rather done is created a new opening so that if the stones flow down, they should pass through the new site rather than cause uh, another urinary obstruction.